Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with TechOut. Today, I wanted to go over some of the new UI changes in the third beta of the um, Android P series for the OnePlus 6. Like I said, this beta is one behind because when Google releases a beta, OnePlus builds on that and then puts it into their phone. So this is one behind what we see released for the Pixel and other devices like that that are running the current Android P or Android 9 as it's being called now beta. So first things first, um, a lot of people wanted to see the new um, recent app switcher um, in the app switcher. So that is what it looks like right there. It is now a card style that slides to the side with a um, close all button on the bottom. You also have a button up top here that you can lock the app so if you do a close all it will not close that app. Um, you can do, you can change your full screen mode um, or default right there so whether the app goes into full screen or default mode um, you can do a split screen for compatible apps and you can also view the app info. So not all apps have a full screen um, or split screen option so those just won't be there but that is going to be app dependent. So that is what the new um, app switcher looks like on the OnePlus 6 right now. Um, like I said, a lot of people say they want to see a dark mode. There is a dark mode in um, this which will theme the system uh, apps like the settings, the OnePlus 6 messenger app, and the phone app. Um, it will also do your Android P stuff, so your notification shade right here, or your uh, quick settings pull down and your notification shade when it's there when you have notifications. This is all controlled through the theme right here, so you have default light and dark. Default and light are basically the same thing. I don't know if there's any difference at all. Um, so you do have options like that for doing um, dark modes. Another thing that is new is your volume um, slider right here. It does come up with the um, key on the side there, so it does show up next to that. If you have any kind of audio output devices like um, a car or a Bluetooth headphones, you'll see it here. So the only thing I have paired to this phone right now is my car. Um, so even though it's not connected, you still see that on the media output option right there. So if you want to change the media output, you can do that and you have that option there as well. Um, you still have your regular power key over here where it has a power off, restart, and screenshot on the side with the, um, with the power key. So it's really easy to take a screenshot. You do have your standard OnePlus slider, which will show up next to it right there. Um, so you have that animation. There are some new animations when opening and closing apps, which a lot of people say they're a little bit slower, um, but the, you know, the, or the, the animations do appear to be a lot smoother. Um, they just are a little bit slower animation speed wise. So that is basically all the new UI changes um, in this beta version of the OnePlus 6. Um, they're really refining stuff, making it a lot better. You still do have your gesture notifications. Um, I just don't have those enabled right now because I prefer to use the on-screen buttons. That's all. Um, but everything appears to be functioning great. We um, hopefully will see some more refinements to the UI and stuff like that as time goes on and as we get farther down the beta line um, with some of those newer features that they're releasing in the Android P um, beta, like beta 4 and stuff like that. We'll see some new stuff come to the OnePlus 6. But that's where we're at right now. This is beta 3 for the OnePlus 6. I'm Colin from TechOut. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.